Hi everybody, welcome to Amy Liu Presents. So I wanna talk about this huge story of the United Airlines passenger being forcibly removed from his seat that made international headlines. And these are the latest updates. And it happened earlier this week on Sunday and basically his lawyer, Mr. Demetrio, said that a lawsuit is probably going to be filed because there was a hearing uh, earlier this week basically to preserve all of the documents and all of the information from the flight, from the boarding, from the airline to basically prepare for a lawsuit later down the line. And then uh, Dr. David Dow is the doctor, the person identified as the passenger that was pretty much brutally dragged from his seat and it's uh, it was pretty uh, hard to watch. And uh, he's a 69 year old Vietnamese American doctor from Kentucky. And basically the lawyer said that, here's what he said, quote, he hopes to recover quietly and never to set foot on an airplane again. So he is pretty much so traumatized that he doesn't want to step foot on an airplane ever again. Yeah, so, and then Dr. Dow had basically lost two teeth and suffered a broken nose and also some sinus injuries as well. So he's recovering in the hospital right now. And according to his lawyer as well, quote, he left Vietnam in 1975 when Saigon fell and he was, a, he was on a boat and was terrified. He said being dragged down the aisle was more horrifying than what he experienced in leaving Vietnam. So this really struck a chord in me because my parents are refugees of the Vietnam War as well. So this kind of, uh, kind of I could kind of relate to, to this story even more so because that's kind of a string of even more of a correlation with my family too because they we hid this man and my family share a similar immigration pattern history so um, that could have been um, that could have been anyone in my family too because of our just the sheer similarity of our immigration pattern history so um, again no one should be subjected to this treatment so questions have arised all over the world on whether his race or ethnicity was taken into account when selected for his involuntary resignation of his seat. This news exploded all over Weibo and WeChat and um, there's a public outcry all over Asia and the world of course and just after seeing this this video um, and uh, the department of transportation is reviewing this matter so i reached out to them for comment and they addressed passenger rights and over sales rules in the official response that was sent to me for which you can see on my website amyliu.com and i'll link it on the description as well it states that airlines cannot discriminate based on race or ethnicity. Here's the official statement. If there are not enough passengers who are willing to give up their seats voluntarily, an airline may involuntarily deny boarding to passengers based on criteria that it establishes, such as the passenger's check-in time, the fare paid by the passenger, or the passenger's frequent flyer status. However, the criteria cannot subject a passenger to any unjust or unreasonable prejudice or disadvantage. For example, an airline could not lawfully use a passenger's race or ethnicity as a criterion. So the incident also calls into question the excessive use of police force in this case. So there's currently a White House petition leading with the hashtag Chinese Lives Matter calling the government to investigate into this matter. Now there's also a hearing that's about to take place that was initially called upon by Congresswoman Eleanor Norton from Delaware, House Democrat, and um, she is 
a senior member of the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. So no word on when that hearing will take place, but I did reach out to the highest ranking member in California, Congresswoman Grace Napolitano, and um, just waiting to hear back on her schedule for an interview and uh, seeing when that hearing will take place and getting her comments on that as well. The Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus also sent out two letters to number one, the CEO of United Airlines, Oscar Munoz, um, calling for answers about their oversales rules and among various other questions. And also a second letter to Elaine Chow of the Department of Transportation also calling for answers. So Amy Lou Presents will continue to follow this story. So follow me at Amy Lou Media. That's at Amy Lou Media for the latest updates on social media and my website www.amyliu.com and also subscribe at youtube.com slash amyliumedia for the latest updates. Thank you so much.